Hello and welcome to STEM show number 16. We are going to go over the different three ducks design connectors and how you can teach your young builders all the different angles using a fun and creative activity called the Kooky Casa Game. Um, so for this activity, you're going to want either three ducks design connectors in your own cardboard or any one of these kits below, including any of our box, our book and build sets our classroom sets, which are called the go boxes, or um, our iconic home kit, which kids get for at home, or our maker kit packs, which are called our go packs. Um, so for this activity, again, it's called the Kooky Casa game, and students are gonna start with any um, one of the 3 design cards, and they're gonna have our three-way connectors that make really good stands um, for the front of what will be our casa or our house. Um, so that will allow the students to hold up their, um, their house. And you're gonna want one of the pop-outs from your cardboard that will represent a door to start. And in addition to our kit, um, students can include markers, paints, crayons, whatever they might want to color and decorate their kooky casa. Um, so in, in our kit, we have a number of different angled connectors. Um, so here you can see all of the different three ducks design connectors of uh, most important for this activity are going to be our right angle connectors, our acute or 60 degree angle connectors, our, oops, our obtuse or 180 degree connectors, and our 180 degree connectors, which look like straight lines, or we call them um, an H connector sometimes for the younger students. So those are the four different angles that we're gonna learn about. And those are the four different connectors you're gonna wanna focus on for this activity. Um, so to start, we're gonna start with a right angle. And the way we go over the, diff oh, I'm sorry, the acute angle. The way we go over this activity is how open or closed a door is. So on the image on the left, you can see that using an acute angle, our door is mostly open. So you're gonna ask your students to find the connector that holds the door mostly open. And you're not gonna tell them which connector to use. You're gonna let them explore and discover and figure out that it will in fact be the acute angle that keeps the door, again, mostly open. Um, the next activity will be to ask the students to come up with a connector that keeps the door pretty much completely closed. And again, through practice and discovery, your students will find that the 180 degree angle allows the door to be flush um, with the walls of the house um, to allow the door to be completely closed. Um, the next challenge will be for students to come up with an angle that allows the door to be exactly halfway open and halfway closed and they will appreciate that for this um, activity, part of the activity, they will need a 90 degree angle, um, which will be in your kits, either red, yellow, or blue. Um, and again, you're going to let your students discover which um, connector allows them to make the door halfway open and halfway closed. And then the last part of the activity is the obtuse angle. And you're gonna ask students to come up with a connector that allows the door to be mostly closed, but not completely closed so that um, somebody can still get inside, but they have to be kind of small to get inside. Um, while you're going over this activity, you can talk about big and small angles, but you're also gonna wanna start using the words like acute, obtuse, right, um, 180 degree angle as well, so that they get used to the right terminology. Once your students are done creating, oops, hold on. Let me go backwards. Once your students are done figuring out which angles work for the door, you're gonna help them solidify that understanding of the different angles by asking them to add an adaptation to a house that uses the different angled connectors. Um, they can come up with any adaptation that they want. It's totally up to them. Um, in this example over here, 
um, you see that um, the green square on the left, they're using an acute angle to create a ramp for wheelchair access. Um, the blue trapezoid towards the right, they're using their right angles to create stairs to get into their home. And the angle, the multicolor square on the right, they're using their obtuse angles to create an awning for shade. And somewhere in here I have, um, yeah, they made a street sign or a building sign with their 180 degree angle over here. Once your students are done using their, learning their angles and then adapting them to create um, you know, different structures for their home using those angles, they're ready for some of our other lesson plans and design challenges. For example, the tiny house challenge you can see over here. Um, we have the modern zoo challenge, which includes not only the different angles, but includes also building with simple machines, which you can find in all of our other STEM show series projects. Um, our busy bee and pollinator pathway project. And I think those are all the examples that I have over here. Um, so thank you for watching. If you guys have questions um, or want access to these activities, they're all on www.3ducksdesign.com. And feel free to reach out, uh, marcy at 3ducksdesign.com if you have other questions. Thank you for watching and have a good day.